to edit your home.html, right click, edit with notepad plus plus opens it up. Okay, today we're going to see how we can make some text clickable and link it to somewhere. For example, if I click this text, I want to go to a, another website. Or if I click this text, I want to open, uh, send an email and so on. Okay, so this that's called hyperlink. So we look for this text, which is to visit a website, this text here. Okay, we're going to introduce a tag called the anchor tag. Okay, or the A, A for anchor. So whatever is within the anchor tag here, this will become clickable, whether it's text or an image. Okay, H ref is the attribute h hyperlink reference and we're going to type the website here that we want it to link hold it this will not work unless you put http colon and two slashes you have to spell this out in full for the browser to know that you are targeting a website http colon with the two slashes will let the browser know that you are hyperlinking to a website okay let's see how this works save it and let's render it so the text within here becomes clickable and if i click it it should take me to this website let's try okay so that's we go into this website uh hold it now what happened is that it has uh taken me off my trail i gotta go back so how do we click it and open in a new tab like that? We're going to put the command here. After the href towards the end, before the end, we're going to add another attribute called target. Okay, target equals to underscore blank. This is the command for opening in a new tab. Okay, refresh that. So if I click now, it will open in a new tab okay whatever you put inside here like I said within the anchor tag this text becomes clickable uh, it would work also if I want to put an image okay so let's say I want this logo and I'm going to put it in there so firstly you need to download this logo and make sure that it is within your folder so save the logo you want make sure it's in the same folder it's called logo.png notice it's not jpg the type is different if you cannot see the extension make sure you click on view the viewing options and enable uh, show file extensions so this is the file the image file i want to uh, include there okay so my it so this text here is clickable uh, and it falls within the anchor tag so if I want to put an image there IMG image tag source equals to and earlier we had the logo okay let's see what this looks like so if it says visit the website is clickable the image itself also takes me there all right so anything within the anchor tag becomes clickable you can even put a line break there okay let's say like that so even though the logo is the next line it's still encompassed by the anchor tag whatever is inside here becomes clickable to this href hyperlink reference i have specified here okay so image or text the same okay next what about email so email here if i want to make this clickable same thing we're going to put the anchor tag here 
attribute h ref hyperlink reference okay so we want an email address there okay this will not work as it is you see earlier for the website we had to put http colon so for emails the command is mail to colon this will tell the browser that you want to send an email whereas http colon with a double slash tells it to open a website so this is email let's see how this works okay so email us today if i click that it opens up my default uh, email and it has placed the email address mail to uh, down there right there okay some you can also specify the subject to be filled in okay so if you here see here mail to in within the href uh, at the end put a question mark let's continue it subject equals to hello like that save it and refresh it let's see what happens so it opens there and puts the subject there okay so hyperlinks work for websites okay clickable website and clickable to send an email the third kind of hyperlink would be if i want to be able to click one of the categories and take me to another web page that is within my website okay so this word cookies within the table here I have a table here uh, before we get into the hyperlink for that just to explain a bit the table width I have specified it to be 75% stretch it out and I have aligned the table in the center Uh, one row of table and I've colored it with a background with beige and uh, a line center within here means that these text will be placed in the center of the cells okay here is cookies and I want to make this clickable to another web page so within the anchor tag href same hyperlink reference Okay, now instead of typing HTTP or mail to, we just plainly type the HTML file that we want to link to. Okay, for my case, I have prepared another HTML file, cookies.html. Take note that it's a good practice to keep all this in lower case. Some browsers or operating systems might be case sensitive. Okay, so I want to link to this page, cookies.html html that is the name so i will just put it there like that now make sure it's, it is within the same folder when we do that save and let's see that refresh how it works so when i click cookies it should bring me to this page cookies.html which i have prepared earlier and i've also done a href back to home the href equal to click on this home back home html okay so that is how you do some simple navigation through your website using hyperlinks so to sum it up there are three kinds of hyperlinks we showed you one is to take us to a website it includes a special attribute that can open in a blank a new tab uh, it can also make an image clickable the second kind is an email href mail to and the third kind takes you to another web page within your website